Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. This is my beauty lifestyle channel. It's my channel. I do a lot of shit here, but mainly beauty and lifestyle, but like also other random shit. Anyways, okay. Welcome to my channel <laughs> or welcome back. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out my lipsticks. <laughs> so I came back to YouTube from like six months to a year hiatus and I had gotten rid of like my cream products, foundation, complexion, da 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 and I was like I'm gonna eventually get to my lipstick and I've been really avoiding this <laughs> because I love lipstick. <laughs> I have a very massive collection but like it's got to go. Okay? Two things before we get into the video. Uh, one, I have a new mic. Her. Okay. I'm hoping it'll work out and I am not filming this for nothing and you can hear me. I have tested it. it sounds good. But in editing, it might sound bad. I don't know. I prefer this over the boom mic just because it like, just is closer, especially when I'm doing like a talking, whatever video. And the second thing is, I know I wasn't here last week. Um, that's my B. I'm not disappearing again. I just, I had a lot going on um, with Halloween and the kids and finals for this semester. It just was a lot. So I'm, I'm not MIA, I, I just missed one day. That's my bad. But other than that, I'm here for you guys on Fridays, okay? Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So that's enough for me. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna jump right into the video. I guess we'll start with these that are not even in a thing. Oh, this is eyeliner. You're not in this show today. So this is the Plump Pal by Pop. Again, I'm not going to show you every last item in here. I have like 300 lipsticks. So there'll be some fast forwarding, but some stuff and in the beginning and whatnot, I'll talk through. But this I got for PR. It's from Pop Beauty. It's the Plump Pout. And I'm going to throw it out because it's old. And then this is the new Kylie one. I'm actually not really that big of a fan of her newer lipsticks but the old ones are so old that they're either almost all gone or I'm gonna be throwing away the ones I have left just because they're so old but the new ones I am gonna keep another pop beauty I'm gonna keep this but I'm gonna give it to my daughter she's three and she loves the purple so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to her this is the Kylie Jenner June bug it was actually one of my favorite lipsticks of all time so let me get my face out of there so it will it will focus on this and it is such a beautiful like purple pink color it's super dried out like swear to god yeah it's not always like that but it's such a beautiful color but it is super super old so we're gonna get rid of her that's from like a summer collection before she even sold her company and i don't even buy her new lipsticks because they're not even the same shade even though they're the same name they're not even like the same color i did a video i posted here it's a while ago comparing quite a few new ones to quite a few old ones and they wanted up being like significantly different um the formula is different which i don't hate the formula the new one but i hate that the shades are not the same so i'm not getting the same color we're gonna work from this side to this side okay now that we got those out of the way we have another kylie one but this i believe is a lip cream I don't know these are so small I'm so old okay so this is a shine lacquer this is not a liquid lipstick it does not dry down and it's more of a lip lacquer it is a lip lacquer not more of I'm gonna keep it though it's newer the Kylie Freddy I have another Kylie Kylie Freddy so these are newer too I'm gonna keep these I guess I'm in the reds right now another red I love red lipstick just so you know Jaclyn Cosmetics Call Me, this is a Valentine's Day one. Ugh, I think I wanna get rid of it cause it is from the older collect, yeah. She's crusty. She's going, anything from the older collection I just have to get rid of. This is a, um, this is one and only, it's a lip cushion by Jaclyn. These are actually really nice and really comfy. It's almost like a lip blush, if you guys had the Kylie lip blushes, but I feel like it's a little bit thicker and creamier and less drying. So I really, really enjoy these. I don't know if they're still available because they came out with the blush a while ago, but one of my favorite lip items. This is absolutely my favorite lip item. NYX uh, Shine Loud. So I got this one, I have a brown one, and I believe I have one more. I just turned it around. Um, basically, you put the color on and then you put this on and it literally is transfer and wear proof for like almost 24 hours. I winded up going to bed with one of these on and it literally barely faded. So if I'm going somewhere where I absolutely do not want to fucking have to reapply makeup or my lipstick because like when you eat and you drink and stuff, you have to reapply it. Even if it's like transfer proof. No, this shit is like for real. 
it's for real. And if it starts to get like crusty, musty, and dry, like most liquid lipstick, you can literally just put more of the clear coat on and it glosses it right up. It's really nice. It's one of my favorite of all time. They still sell these at the drugstore, Ulta, etc. And then a Lunar Beauty, Lunar Beauty. I'm not gonna get rid of those. I love them. This is a Laura Lee liquid lipstick and I love the color, but this is very, very old. I'm pretty certain this is like from one of her first ever launches. Yeah, this stuff is dry. It was dry from the beginning. I mean, I loved it, but it's, it's definitely not a Lunar Beauty lipstick. So these smell so sweet. Ooh, like a cupcake. But they're really nice liquid lipsticks too. Uh, Kylie, ABH, ABH, ABH. Um, I think I recently got these. Oh, ABH. I think, I think I'm gonna keep these. I did not recently get this, but I don't think I'm ready to. No, and it's not even dry either. This is like one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, red liquid lipsticks, Fenty Beauty. This one is uncensored. Stunna Lip Paint, that's what it's called. They're still available. There's way more colors now, but I literally, this color is the perfect blue red ever. And it's, oh, so beautiful. You guys don't understand, I love liquid lipsticks. Morphe, gone. Dose of this shit, this shit is like, I swear to you guys, like six years old. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, that's old. Date night, gone. Um, these are the Jaclyn lip lacquers. They're kind of like the Kylie ones, but I prefer the Kylie ones better because these are super sticky. I like them, so I'm gonna keep them, but I definitely prefer the Kylie ones. These are newer too, to my collection. They are separating quite disgustingly. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them. I mean, I'm gonna give them a go. There's another one. I think I have four, but I, I've only found three. Oh, so there's dust. This is the Villains liquid li or lipsticks. Villains liquid lipsticks, no. Villains lipsticks. I'm actually gonna take them all out because this is a very, very old collection, but I will not throw them out because I wanna keep it. I have the box still, so I would like to put them in there and maybe one day when I get a bigger house, put them up for display because I have the villains, like I got the PR box, so I'd love to have these to put them in here, but they're just bullet lipsticks, but I'm, I can't wear them, like they're super old. Oh, uh, some more ColourPop. Oh my God. These are bullet lipsticks, which I'm probably gonna get rid of because they're super old. Oh, that actually kind of looks like the color June Bug. Curiouser and Curiouser. That definitely looks like the color June Bug, but in like a lipstick. So I have, that one is Sorry Not Sorry by ColourPop, and these are the Lux, I don't freaking know, Velvet Blurs. I mean, not identical, but like, mm, they could definitely, they made a liquid lipstick of that. I'm gonna keep that one though, I really like it. Previous place, these are newer. I just recently got these. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> look at this lipstick. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I love when a lipstick looks so pretty. This one is called Frenemy and they're like a velvety kind of situation, but I need to start wiping. These are so gross. Oh, she's pretty, she's staying. I think I got this in like one of those surprise things. This is Huda's, this is not fun. Uh, Juvia's place. Um, beautiful, oh my God. I can, oh, oh, like just look at the glimmer shimmer on that one. These are super old. They're tart, I'm getting rid of them. Marc Jacobs, getting rid of this, such a beautiful color. So I'm not gonna get rid of these Lorac 20th anniversary set because my brother bought them, my brother and my ex, my brother bought them for me for my birthday and it was one year that like, I really had no money, okay? Like, no fucking joke, so fucking poor. 
and the one thing I wanted, I was just starting on YouTube, and the one thing that I wanted was the L'Oreal 20th Anniversary Lipstick Vault. It came with liquid lipsticks, and it came with bullet lipsticks, and it came in like a case. So I still have the case, and I still have the liquid lipsticks. They're not in here, they're in the vault already, because they're super old, but I'm not gonna throw them out. I'm gonna take them and actually put them in the vault, and then obviously one day I will um, display that as well, but it's just not something, it, it's just more sentimental than it is anything because like I can't sell it, you know, they've been used and swatched and whatnot, but there's it's just sentimental. Like it was something I really, really wanted and really couldn't afford and my brother made it happen and I will never ever fucking forget that. And like it seems like not that serious, like it's just lipstick. But like the meaning behind it is kind of where I'm like, I can never get rid of them ever, ever, ever. So those, anything like these, I'm gonna keep. Um, these are my KKW lipsticks in bullets and I will not be getting rid of these. These are the pink and then the 90s Vogue. This is pink seven, which I don't know why it's called pink cause it's not very pink. It's um, like a wine color. And then the 90s Vogue, like come on. <sighs> God, I'm just looking to make sure there's no discoloration or anything crazy. You know, I am gonna keep it. <laughs> and if it breaks me out, it breaks me out. Listen. Lunar, I'm keeping all my Lunar Beauty lipsticks. I don't care. Gone. Fenty is staying, bitches. Let me tell you how cool these are, right? Ready? I mean, obviously, if you know, you know, but I'm gonna show you just in case you don't know. So it comes in this beautiful packaging. Ooh, 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 Vogue it, Vogue. And then you just, what? Let me show you, got it. Out lipstick. This is like the coolest freaking packaging ever. And then you just pop it right back in. I love it. These are kind of bougie, right? But really cute. Those are the ones that came with that bougie lipstick holder. But I do have, so I have several of these. Um, one time I fucked up and I put it in wrong. Like, look, I've never even used this one. I don't think I've even swatched it. Nope. It did chip though. So this one I didn't put in all the way. So it, it touches the top every time. That's why it's chipped. Look at that. <sighs> this is how I organize them, by the way, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay, Jacqueline, we're keeping Jacqueline. Well, I don't know. I am gonna keep it. I think it's pretty. Morphe. Whoo, yeah, I've never, yeah, I have swatched it. I can see the swatch. Fenty Beauty in, oh, it's a gloss bomb cream. Um, I'm not gonna keep this just because I have a literal one. I guess this was just like a little sample I got. Whoo, another one of those like velvet, like it looks, I don't know if you can see the like texture and I'll try to zoom in as much as I can without distorting it, but it's like this velvety texture. And these are actually newer, so I will be keeping that one. This is not going well for me. I've gotten rid of a lot for me. Like, in my opinion, that's a lot. All these KKWs I'm keeping. Lipstick queen, oh, oh, so this is the green one. And I'll put it here. And I'll go like that. I only put on a lot so you can see. Let me do it here. Maybe you can see it better here. No, what's happening? Oh, there it, there it goes. It's like a pinky color. Like it's not very dark. It's kind of subtle, but it's just like a little tint. So it looks green, but it's pink. Uh, 
Uh, this is Beauty Bakery. Oh my God. And it's old, so it's gonna go. But I really enjoyed this one and the doe foot. It's pretty inexpensive. I'm sure the brand is still around. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no. Um, I'm gonna... This is one of the Coco collections, the second. I'm gonna keep this one. It doesn't look dried out, it doesn't look gross. This is the No One's Baby, but I think this was from the newer collection. I'm pretty certain this is from her newer brand. Don't quote me, I could be wrong, but it's barely used. I'm gonna keep that one. No. Oh, so beautiful. Becca, don't ever make that again. No. No. Sometimes I just feel like I have so many of the same colors too. Ew, no. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna try to have it focus here. Focus. It has like bubbles and grossness. So that's gonna go. Another NARS. I like this. But, huh. Did they remake their packaging? Something is going on with this NARS lipstick. I'm gonna throw this out because I think that this NARS lipstick is leaking something. Yeah, it definitely is. Chanel, oh, another bougie ass package. Oh, okay, goodbye. This is a f one of the fanciest lipsticks I have. And also, I'm gonna get rid of my YSL lipstick. <sighs> this one's really hard. And I can't say why, because it's going to take me back to a place I don't want to be at, but. Yeah, it's going to go. It's going to go. Oh. oh, a lot of sentimental value for that one. I will tell you that. This is a blue liquid lipstick in the shade Midnight. It's just very old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But this was from a small business, Pretty, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. Actually, it was a phenomenal lipstick. It's just very old, before COVID old. All right, some more Bite Beauty. Kale, this is a green lipstick. Looked so good on me. And Squid Ink, which is a blue lipstick, which also looked extremely good on me. Eh. All done that. Okay, so now I have all these lipsticks and I don't know where to put them. But see these? These are lip liners. <laughs> these are nude and these are like colorful. Red, pink, purple, blue, whatever. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of these, so jot that down. But that, my friends, is all my lipsticks. I'm about to take a video of the floor. It's messy, okay? Focus on the lipstick. And then I'm gonna take what I'm keeping. I'm not organizing this tonight. Not until I clean my room, and then I think I'm gonna condense my makeup. I know that I didn't look like I got rid of a lot. I probably still have at least 100 lipsticks in here. Let me tell you something, okay? Three years ago, me, maybe two, had like 400 lipsticks. And so to be down to just like at maybe 100, maybe. Yeah, it's probably at least 100. That's a big deal because there's, there's at least half on the floor. So I'm proud of myself in being able to learn to let go of things. And that's just kind of the season that I'm in of my life. It's just so refreshing, honestly, to just clean and just gut stuff and remove it like it just feels so much lighter and just better so now I just have to work on organizing the makeup <laughs> but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys on the next one bye